Hi everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for stamp.com Last week I sketched out some card ideas using the new products from the latest release from Simon, and today I thought I would use this sketch that's up here in the top corner of my sketchbook. It uses the Geo Leaves stencil, so I'm going to put down a slick surface so that I can ink blend onto the stencil. And I'm going to be adhering the stencil to the cardstock. I'm going to adhere it from the back so that that stencil design can go edge to edge on this white cardstock. So this cardstock is four and a quarter by five and a half. It's the full size of an A2 card front. But you'll see as I get going here on my card that I actually switch ideas and make it a five by seven card so that I could preserve more of this background that I'm creating. I really wanted to use as much of it as possible. I'm using some more washi tape to hold that stencil down just so I can blend without having to worry about it moving around. I'm going to be using four different colors of ink from Simus the Stamp today. These are really great colors. Um, I've had these for years. I've never had to replace the ink pads yet, and they just last for a long time. Starting out with Hot Mama, and I'm using some blender brushes from Honeybee going to blend in from the left side down at the bottom corner and I'm going to have this purple blend kind of halfway across the card front and then kind of fade away near the top. My plan is to have two layers of inking. This first layer is going to be purple and pink and the second layer will be blue and yellow. When I overlap these colors it's going to create additional colors. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. So now I'm taking dull pink and I'm blending in from the other side, letting the colors just blend in the center of the card. Really soft blending and it doesn't take very long at all. So now I'm going to uh, pick up that stencil and you'll be able to see the design and it's really beautiful just as is with just the two colors. But I'm going to do a technique with, with stenciling that's called offset stencil. And what that means is I'm going to take the same stencil and I'm just going to place it right over the top and just move it a little bit away from that original blending. In this case, I'm trying to line up the little squares that create the pattern right over top of the existing pattern so that they overlap perfectly but intersecting. I'm going to tape this down once again just so it doesn't move around and then I'll get to the blending. The blue color I'm using is Island Blue. It's a nice bright cyan blue. It's really beautiful. And I'm gonna blend that right over the top of the purple section. So this purple and the blue will combine to make a more intense blue-violet. And then also if a little bit of that blue goes on to the pink, it'll just create more purple. So it's a really great blend there. Now I'm gonna grab this sunshine color and I'm going to bring it in from the other side right over top of that pink shade. Now I don't want to bring it over too much because I've got purple over there. And purple and yellow are complementary colors, which means when they blend, they kind of create yucky brown gray. So I'm trying not to like overlap those too much. So now I'm going to remove the stencil and you can see that it has created this really cool ink blended offset, almost rainbow pattern. It looks a little bit digital, it looks really neat. At this point, I decided I don't want to lose any of this pattern because it's beautiful. I don't want to waste it. So I decided to turn this into a five by seven card and have the interior area of the card be four by six. Now this piece is a little bit short right now, so I'll fix that in a minute here. But for now, I'm going to work on the sentiment. I have another piece of black cardstock. This is Pitch Black from Hero Arts. And I'm using the Thinking of You line die set going to take the thinking portion of the die set and cut that out of the black cardstock. Now this die is designed purposely to have like it, the cut line just kind of goes off the edge and you're going to have to finish the cut on your own. Um, I just use an X-Acto knife for that just to finish the cuts on either side. It's kind of a more versatile die this way because um, you can put it on whatever length of cardstock you want. So it's kind of cool that way. So I just used a craft knife and a ruler just to finish the cut lines on both sides. And then I was able to sort of bend back that cardstock and remove it from the words. I also got to punch out the center of those letters. Really, really fun die here. So I cut out four of those white of U's and I'm going to be stacking them later. But for now, I just wanted to see how this would look 
and I decided I couldn't cut the black cardstock until I knew exactly where the of you would be placed. So I decided to go ahead and just stack all of these together. There's four layers worth, and I'm using little dabs of Gina K Designs Connect glue to glue them together. Just put a little glue in the back of it, dabbed off the excess blue on some scratch paper, happens to be the paper I cut all these out of, and then press them together. And I like to sort of get them lined up, laying on my craft mat, and then pick them up and manipulate it with my fingertips, trying to get everything lined up. And that makes sure that I have a nice, thick, perfectly adhered die cut. So now we have this really thick die cut. I'm gonna put some additional dots of glue on the back and then put that down right over top of this die. This is exactly how I designed the die to be used, um, contrasting colors of cardstock and have the of you sort of overlap. So like I said before, this piece of cardstock was actually meant for an A2 card, which is too small for my card idea. So I adhered some additional white cardstock to the bottom and then cut the full length to six inches. I also cut off the excess of my black piece of cardstock. And I'm going to be adhering that onto the front of my ink blended piece. Now I have to apologize if you hear a lawn mower or <laughs> any other lawn equipment. Um, my neighbor is working on their yard. So I apologize if you can hear that. And I don't even know if you're able to hear it at all. But anyway, I had heard the thinking of you strip uh, with some adhesive. This is foam adhesive that I used. I also used some foam tape on the back of my entire ink blended piece. Now at this point, I realized there was a little too much space at the very bottom of the card in that black area. So I decided to take a white gel pen. This is a number 10 jelly roll pen and just use a ruler and add a dash line. That's just going to make that spacing look a little bit more intentional. And that finishes the card for today. Just a reminder that the products I use today are from the brand new release from Simon Says Stamp, which is available over in their shop. I will have links down below to everything I've used on the card for today so you can check them out. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in another video very soon.